Hi Internet, welcome to the Grudge Run YouTube channel. It's Thin Lizzy Thursday. So last video, or a couple videos ago, I said I would alternate between doing a Blaster Rider song at the beginning to make sure we don't do two in a row. But I decided, you know what, if we do skip a Blaster Rider song uh, that week, I can do one the next week if I choose to. So we're still never going to be doing two weeks in a row of Blaster Riders as the full reaction. But I felt like, you know what, I was kind of grumpy after that last reaction, so I'm okay with potentially shooting down another Blaster Rider song. Um, so we're going to do Turn In Your Arms, see if it's worthy of a full reaction, and if not, we'll listen to something else, and I hope it is not Dire Straits again. No, oh, that was a little quiet. Yeah, I mean, uh, a nice riff, but that's kind of it. Uh, the rest of this is just kind of musically ugly. Uh, all right, let's see what we're listening to. I'll keep this playing in case there's like a good chorus or something, but let's see what song we're listening to this week. Okay, whatever. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, so the trick is when you do reactions and you've heard songs before, it's more like just a commentary track, and I don't make like the big faces and stuff. And after the extreme disappointment of like last week, I thought, all right, whatever, let's just do the next one. And I figured we might get another mediocre song, but there's still so many great songs left on the list. Oh my goodness, Dear Miss Lonely Hearts. Um, just one of my favorite songs, period. When I saw that it came up in the generator, my jaw dropped. Oh my goodness, I adore this song. Uh, you know, this is a, a Phil Lynott solo song, but it has Thin Lizzy as the backing band. So it's like, is it really a solo song? Can you call it a solo song when it's the guy from Thin Lizzy and the backing band is Thin Lizzy? Um, yeah, this song, it's musically very simple. It's the same four chords over and over again for the entire song. There is no variance in the chord progression. Uh, but there are so many great songs where that is the case. And as a songwriter, I found like I feel like I have to overcomplicate a song and be like, no, can I use these same chords in the chorus that I used in the verse? And I usually tell myself, no, you have to change it. But this is proof that you don't need to. So many great songs follow this formula. Uh, like uh, BTS Dynamite, same chords throughout the entire song. Um... Uh, Call Me Maybe, Carla Rae Jepsen, uh, same four chords the entire song. You know, a lot of Dylan stuff. Uh, but this is, yeah, this is one of my favorite things that Phil has ever done. I think it's a masterpiece. Uh, lyrically, I could just read out every line of the song, which, uh, I, of which I might end up doing because, like, I, this, this is one of the songs I would show to my friends in high school is like, no, Thin Lizzy is amazing. Uh, dear Miss Lonely Hearts, I had to write this letter to tell you how I came to meet her. It's kind of like a Dear Abby situation. She was sweet, but I dated her sister. That's how I made my mistake, and I can't forget her. I felt depressed till a friend of mine suggested that I write to this address. So unless you can find a cure for my loneliness, it will persist, it will persist. Lonely boy looking for another. Lonely girl to love one another. Lonely hearts turn to each other. Lonely souls. 
So there's there's brilliance here because, you know, you've got this very pining chorus about, like, you know, this desperate romanticism about two souls unable to connect. And, you know, you have this unrequited forbidden love that is just, like, really, really compelling. And then, you know, the response to the second verse, because you have so many different characters in the song. Dear lonely boy, I doubt if my reply will bring much joy. It seems from your letter that you lied or strongly implied that you were satisfied to keep to t- keep her sister by your side. Just like the, the the phrasing, the prose, it just it's snappy, it moves and it's just it's it's got a great cadence and rhythm. I became distressed at your total lack of tactfulness, so at best, all I can just suggest is that you resist, and you put an end to such thoughts of silliness. So basically saying, like, no, dude, like, you are, you know, she's not taking the romanticism at face value. She is assuming, you know, ulterior motives, and that, you know, like, if you're thinking about, you know, cheating on your girlfriend with her sister, that's obviously you're a bad guy. But then what if it's, you know, true love is sort of like the, um, you know, like you've got all these different things, like this very messy, complicated situation, the kind of thing you would find like in a romance movie. But it's a really compelling narrative in a short amount of time. Dear Miss Lonely Hearts, I've got problems. You're the only one I know that can solve them. I love a girl, but I'm dating her sister. And if I persist in my pursuit, I will kiss her. Dear Lonely Girl, I doubt this reply will bring much joy. But you must not trust this boy. You must not lust this boy. Resist and do not kiss this boy. You know, that for that forbidden love angle is just... It's messy, it's complicated, but it definitely gives off like this air of like youthfulness to it. And so it's just like, it's a really great, compelling song. It's catchy, uh, melodically pleasing. Phil, you know, is like the perfect narrator for this piece. Uh, I haven't even, you know, listened to the song, you know, with all of you yet. But like, I I love it going in. I don't know how much pause I'll do for the copyright and how many things I'll bring up. But um, uh, yeah, I'm just excited to listen to this one along with you guys. Let's do it. One of my all-time faves. Dear Miss Lonely Hearts, I had to write this letter to tell you how I came to meet her. She was sweet, but I dated her sister. That's how I made my mistake, and I can't forget her. I felt depressed till a friend of mine suggested that I write to this address. So unless you can So good. He just, he's carrying like the emotion of each word so perfectly. I love it. Video is great too. I I love it, and I love um. You know, we're gonna get to an interesting part musically just now, where they're gonna be using like keyboards for a for a line that seemed like it would make more sense for Lizzie guitars to be emphasizing, like harmony guitars. But like the the uh, progression, like the pattern of the phrase, is very much like a very classic Thin Lizzy uh, like uh, melodic pattern. Uh, but what I was about to say is that this song is great when your band needs an extra song in the set and you need to teach the band members really fast because the song is so simple and very intuitive. It's the kind of thing that like I've, I've added the song last minute many a times when I've needed an extra song in the set. Uh, just phenomenal. just hear, you know, uh, guitar is playing that part perfectly. Dear Miss Lonely Hearts, I've got problems. You're the only one I know that can solve them. I love a girl, but I'm dating my sister. And about the 
Yep. Yeah. I, I'm. So here's the trick with this ranking: is that I think as a song, "Jailbreak" might be like a little bit better of a song, but I love "Dear Miss Lonely Heart" so much that it, it gets the edge for me. Quadruple S rank, one of the best songs in the catalog, one of my favorites, uh, just a absolute masterpiece. No complaints with this one whatsoever. Um, ooh, and suggested is the Hanoi Rocks cover, which is really good. If you haven't heard it. I'll give you a little taste. Ooh, that is a low quality version. Let's find a not low quality version. Please and thank you. Or, um, no? Not showing up? All right, well, well let's go back to it then. Give you a little taste. That I write to this address So unless you can find a cure for my loneliness It will persist It will persist Lonely boy Looking for another Lonely girl Actually, we might listen to this whole thing. Uh, I love Michael Monroe's vocal on this track. Um, I actually interviewed him once. Uh, very nice guy. Great. And there, you hear how this line works so well with guitars. It really sounds like a Lizzie guitar line the way they do it. Man, Hanoi Rocks is great. So great. I love this. An another great version. I still prefer the original, but like this is a great cover. This boy, you 
must not lost this boy. Resisting, do not kiss this boy. Lonely boy, looking for another lonely girl to love one another. Lonely hearts turn to each other. Lonely soul. That has been Lizzie Thursday. I'll see you guys in the comments. Bye, everyone.